HVK all day. All right, man. So in today's video, I want to talk about how everybody is a victim when it comes to corn, right? Or prawn, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, how everybody is a victim, man. I want to try to do my best into breaking down uh, in different perspectives. All right. So I guess we'll start with the viewer, how the viewer is a victim in this industry. So guys, if you're always watching, if you're consuming things like the hub, it's a psychological weapon, literally, guys. It's literally there placed in society to destroy you, all right, slowly over time. So on a viewer's perspective, guys, you know, they know exactly what they're doing, right? When you go onto these demonic sites, guys, you're, you're, it's just unlimited content, guys. It's unlimited content. It's sexual content, right? So automatically, your mind is on hyperdrive. It's, you know, it's hyper stimulated. It's just like, you know, you see all these things, all these thumbnails, different videos, this, that, this, that. And it's all free. It's all unlimited, guys. It's never ending. So that right there, what that does to you, man, it just puts you in this very, uh, I don't know what you would call it, man. It just puts you like your mind is just hyper stimulated. You're just like aroused, right? So you just start behaving like like a very irrational very on an emotional level right you're not thinking logically like you just see all these colorful things and like you know these these thumbnails and you just like you have an unlimited access which is a problem like you shouldn't have an unlimited access of something like that right because you're just going to destroy yourself all right so that right there another thing i want to mention is like there's no such thing as prawn in um moderation right because it's literally a psychological weapon so it the more you look at it the more you want to view something else you know because it's levels it's like dopamine spikes guys you see something you get like a dopamine hit yeah so you get a dopamine hit every time you like look at these type of things guys so you're always going to want like more right you're just always going to want more because it's unlimited okay so that right there it just puts you in a very unstable mindset you know you're just constantly like bombarding your mind you're basically like i don't know you're just kind of rewiring your brain okay so if you're always looking at that you're basically coming becoming desensitized to life right because you're exciting your brain so now regular things in life aren't going to give you that same dopamine hit you know when you're on the hub guys you're looking at these things that are like stimulating your mind very 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 high things regular things in life aren't going to seem as exciting you know that's why you're going to be more like depressed you're going to be more you know life just seems more shittier because you're basically like programming rewiring your mind into feeling like oh i can't feel like happy or like excited unless I'm looking at this, right? It's a, it's a very drug-like mentality. You know, the hub is literally a, a drug. It's a free drug. Obviously, it's not like a substance, but it affects you very mentally on a biological level. You're just kind of like tricking your body, you know, because you're looking at these images, right? And your body can't tell the difference. Like it thinks that it's going to procreate with like a female, you know, but you're just like, your mind doesn't know how to grasp it. Your mind doesn't, isn't wired to see all these like content, like all this, all these videos in short periods of time, right? So you're just kind of like bombarding your mind and you're affecting yourself in a very negative way, okay? And that's just from viewing it, guys. But when you're always in the cycle of releasing, guys, um, you're just killing yourself slowly right you're just killing yourself slowly and it's very destructive man it's a very destructive cycle to be in and a lot of people they normalize it for themselves like society normalizes it they think it's normal to be on these sites and just be releasing and having their little favorite categories and all this bullshit but what happens guys is like i said you become desensitized over time so things like that you might have looked at back then they're not even exciting to you anymore because you're like your dopamine it doesn't you're not getting the same hits from it 
and like I said, it's literally like a drug. It ha literally has the same effect as a drug for when somebody, you know, they try something for the first time and they're like, whoa, you know, they get high, but they keep doing it and doing it over and over. They're going to build up a tolerance in a way. It's the same thing with the hub, guys. When you're always viewing it, you build up a tolerance in uh, on a mental level. So you won't feel as excited anymore. So now you start looking up like crazier things, you know, just to get like that excitement, that dopamine hit because you're literally like desensitizing yourself, man. And it's very like dangerous to do that because uh, you won't even feel excited for like regular life anymore. Um, it's just it's just like a form of brain damage, guys, like straight up man. you're literally rewiring your mind to be destructive, to be in destructive mode, right? So it's like a drug, like straight up, guys. It's a drug. It's like a never ending cycle. If you're in it, guys, it's like it's a never ending cycle because you're always like looking for materials, um, probably like looking like, you know, you become so desensitized that like nothing seems like nothing seems to like excite you anymore. And this is a big problem in like young men. Um, this has happened to me before, guys, too, as well, like. Where you, when you're always looking at lustful material like that, you become so desensitized that if you get with the actual female, you won't be aroused because you've literally reprogrammed your mind into only being aroused by pixels, by these hyper stimulating pixels and videos and categories and things like that. So when you get with the actual female, your brain isn't going to have that spark. It's going to be like, eh, you know, it's going to be like whatever. And with that comes, you know, ED, not being able to perform. Um, and at the same time, when you're always watching lustful things, it gives you a lot of social anxiety, guys. You're, it's spiritual, too. It's your, your phone is a portal, guys. So if you're looking at things on your phone, you're absorbing that negative energy. And things like the hub, guys, it has a lot of negative energy on there. Like the people on those sites they're very dark guys they're in a way like there's literally nothing holy about filming yourself you know it's just like a lot of his demonic guys like it's straight up it's really unholy and it's just very um it's very dark negative energy so what do you think like consuming all that stuff is going to do it's just going to give you anxiety it's going to make you feel anxious uh ungrounded all these negative things guys because you're consuming it through your phone so if you're always like on your phone looking at that when you go out into like the world you're gonna feel like ungrounded you're gonna feel anxious you're gonna have social anxiety because what you do in the dark always comes to light so if you're always like looking at things um you just feel you just like your aura like your energy body you're carrying a lot of negative energy around it's like your your brain is like a sponge so you're absorbing all this negativity so now you're projecting how you feel like within externally. You get what I'm saying? Okay, guys. So that's how it affects people, the viewers, how it affects them, how they're a victim is that they're in a never ending cycle. They're depleting their energy. They're depleting their minerals. They're basically killing themselves slowly, causing mental problems, uh, physical problems, um, spiritual problems, all these things, guys. It's very negative to the consumer all right and they know this guys obviously that's why it's free is because you're paying with your soul all right so uh that was for the viewers but you know when it comes to the actors guys um let's talk about the males the male actors so how it affects them in a negative way guys is that it's almost like the same thing a little bit like how like the viewers you know it's crazy, bro. It's like they start, they don't view women as women. They just view them as like an object, right? And not only that, like they said, like they're killing themselves slowly too, right? Because they're always releasing. Why do you think these male corn stars look like shiz? Because they're just killing themselves. Like they're just depleting their energy and their everything, guys. You know, I watched this uh, video one time of like this ex uh, male corn star where he was talking about like, I forgot I forgot the video man but he was just basically like telling his experience how like he just felt miserable he just uh, like he didn't see women like there there was like no love there was no connection 
And then to cover up that emotional pain, he would like take drugs and things like that. And because he was just like, you know, he would go to, to make the scenes. He would feel like dead inside. There would be no connection. And then to like cope with the, with the feelings, he would just like use drugs and things like that. He would use that money to, to get drugs and all these things. Um, so that right there is very like destructive on a male's perspective. But so when it comes to like the female corn stars, guys, I feel like, I don't know, man, it's just, I can't imagine like the mentality that they must have, man. Like all these corn stars, the female ones, like I'm pretty sure their mentality is just completely gone. You know, it's kind of like people in that industry, like sell their soul straight up, man. Like they sell their soul because do you really think that they're happy guys? Do you really think that they're happy with their life choices and what they're doing to make money? You know, they're actors, right? They act, but that's not reality, man. Like, after everything's over, when they're going to sleep at night, do you, there's probably, like, demons just attacking them, like, in their mind and everything. Because, you know, it's so it's so crazy, guys. Like, females, males, they shouldn't be having, you know, like, it's crazy, bro. It's like... um you're basically creating like all these soul ties, man. On a spiritual level, you're creating these corn stars. They're creating all these soul ties with each other, right? And like they're just mixing each other's energies around. And it's just like a lot of dark negative energy. And so they'll never be like fulfilled in life. They'll never be like fulfilled like spiritually. They will never truly be happy. Right, because it's physical. It's all the flesh. The flesh is weak, guys. They're not spiritually rich. They're not. Uh, they don't have internal peace. If you, as a viewer watching that, you don't feel internal peace by consuming that content, and you have like anxiety and like depression, all these negative emotions, guys, just from consuming that, how do you think it's gonna affect the actors? Right? It's just like they're actually in it, man. They're just. It's so crazy, bro. Like, it really is, man. And I feel kind of bad for the actors because obviously not a lot of them. You know, obviously some of them, it's just like they agree to it. But you never know who is being, like, forced to do that in a sense. Like, without wanting to, right? You never know where these videos come from, guys. Like, it's just very crazy, man. Like, it's very... It's very crazy. This industry is like very demonic and you know, you need to remove yourself from that guys because as long as you're watching that guys, your life will never be, you'll never feel like internal peace. You'll always be like caught up in that cycle, right? And it's insane, man. It's, <laughs> it's literally like a virus in society, man, because uh, society has basically like used like the sexual energy basically weaponized the we weaponized it against uh society you know like they especially like men like men are being attacked like so your sexual energy obviously is normal but it's basically been like weaponized against you to self destruct right that sexual energy can be like used in different ways guys like that's why like when you start retaining you start having this creative energy. You start having this drive and this charisma and this motivation to do things. But when you're always releasing that, you just, you're not going to be able to like be fulfilled in life, guys. You're not going to, you know what I'm saying? It's just very, just a very low vibrational cycle, man. And everybody's a victim when it comes to this. You know, I talked about the viewers. I talked about the people in the industry as well. But, like, it's so crazy because every everybody has, like, easy access to this, man. Everybody has a phone nowadays, right? So, it's really sad that, you know, younger generations are can be so easily exposed to this stuff, guys. You know, people discover this at, like, a young age. And they just, they're just lured into it, man. And it's just, like, it's it's crazy. And then years down the line, they don't know why they have, like, all these 
mental problems or like, um, you know, just why they just feel like shit, man. Because they've just been doing something basically like programming themselves into like destruction, right? Into like viewing women objectively and um, just like killing themselves slowly, like their potential and just all these things, guys, man. You know what I'm saying? So... I just want to talk about that, guys. Like, everybody's a victim when it comes to this. And, you know, you got to save yourself. You got to remove yourself from there because, like, like I said, man, it's unlimited content. So you will never, you're always, you're always stuck in a cycle, man. You're always, like, you you will never be satisfied. Like, lust will never satisfy you, man. Flee, free, flee from lust, guys, and you will be free. And you'll feel way happier. You'll feel way more fulfilled in life. Naturally, man, you will just feel overall, overall way better, man. Use that sh sexual energy to your advantage, man. Don't use it to weaponize yourself and like kill yourself slowly, right? Use that sexual energy to transmute in better ways, into hitting the gym, into uh, working on your goals, into having more energy, you know? The worst thing that you could do is just release with no purpose, right? So, it's all about rewiring your mind, guys. It's about rewiring just, like, your old habits, man. It's, it's creating, like, better habits for yourself. Because lust, like I said, lust will never satisfy you. And as long as you're stuck in that cycle, it's a cycle of self-destruction. You know, it's a cycle of self-destruction. You will never be satisfied. You will always be unhappy. You'll always be depleted. And it's not worth it at the end, guys. It's literally not worth it. Your life is more important than pixels on a screen, than a five-second release of pleasure, you know? Your goals, your happiness, your life, everything is so much more important, man. You become abundant when you start retaining because now you're focusing your energy on better things. You're focusing where focus goes, attention where, where focus goes, energy flows, man. So if you're always focused on low vibrational things like the hub, you're just going to be like, have a very unfulfilled life, guys. But if you use, cultivate that energy, guys, and focus within, focus on your goals and focus on your vision, man, you will just start to elevate in life, man. And if you know about retention, just know that you're blessed and... Because a lot of people don't know about this, man. Like, people have, no, like I said, they normalize it for themselves to think that watching The Hub or always sleeping around is normal. But it's spiritual warfare out here, man. Like, straight up, that's, it's spiritual warfare. You can't be giving yourself out to anybody like that. You can't be releasing your essence, guys. You're going to have no uh, spiritual protection, you know. When you're not retaining, guys, you're not spiritually protected. Things, bad things start happening. You're not... You know, you're not aligned with your purpose. You're not aligned, you know, like who you're supposed to be. But I noticed that like when you're retaining guys, you feel like you have a, a very like powerful aura about you. Like your aura speaks volume, man. You feel like fearless. You have this uh, energy about you, man. You feel like very powerful in your masculine energy. And this is why they make corn free why they promote all this sexual stuff into society is to make men weak to make women more masculine to make them like basically like um i don't know man it's just twisted it's very twisted guys it's just the men are weak the men are like feminine nowadays the the women are more masculine and everything is just very distorted right but what I noticed, guys, is like retention is like one of the first things that you could do to take back your power, right? Retention and, you know, not looking at lustful materials. That's the ultimate way of taking your power back, you know? And it's, um, yeah, guys, like you got to save yourself out here. You know, you can't save everybody, but just know that if you know about this practice, then you are divinely guided and um yeah good luck on your journey guys so with that being said i'm gonna wrap it up so make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace